Oh, howdy all. Grab yourself a drink. It is time for some Path of Exile discussion. I put out a video yesterday or the day before that goes through all of the mechanics on how loot conversions work in Path of Exile. What's behind the big scarab bombs, the big currency bombs that you might have seen during the Affliction League. Either dropping for yourself if you're playing one of the magic find strategies, or if you're not playing that strategy, you've probably seen footage of them on Reddit, or you've seen them on Twitch and things like that. One thing that's very important here is that this is correcting a technicality, but the rest of that video still holds true. So if you haven't watched that, then you might want to have a look at it first, and I'll put a link to it down in the description below, as well as in the bottom left corner of this video during the last 20 seconds. But the one thing that was wrong there, and we've definitely seen this confirmed since with a bit of testing, is that when you have a loot conversion take place, all of the drops completely ignore any increased item rarity that your character has on it. So for instance, if you've set up Venter's Gamble, you've set up increased item rarity support and things like that, that is going to result in you getting more unique items in normal gameplay. But when you get one of these conversions, your increased item rarity as a player stat is going to be treated as zero for the purposes of that particular loot explosion. Now in the context of the Affliction League, this isn't all that important. The Scarab Bombs that are happening are coming mostly from monster rarity being really high, and monster rarity is the key stat that is the one that makes these loot explosions so big. The numbers provided by player item rarity, while they're significant, they're very small in comparison to the amount of increased item rarity, or actually more item rarity, that you can get through the Affliction League mechanic. Now on top of it being player item rarity that is not applying here, there is also a small bonus to item rarity that occurs during party play. Players may be familiar with the quite substantial quantity boost that you get in a party. This is not the quantity boost, this is the rarity boost, and that rarity boost is comparatively quite small, and not all that significant in general. But in this case, it also seems to be turned off as well. That's only coming from data mining, not from testing. And the specific lines that have been found that back up the potential that this is not going to apply are two lines of code data miners found way back in 3.20, which are monster underscore dropped underscore items underscore ignore underscore party underscore rarity percentage bonus. And the same thing, but player rarity instead of party rarity. And this is being tested through a character that's been carefully engineered to have negative 100% item rarity on them. This is being done through the use of poorly rolled Venter's Gambles, poorly rolled Arumvaraxes, and other items like that that provide nerfs to item rarity. When you've got minus 100% rarity, anything you've got that has different rarity tiers, so for instance if a chess piece drops, that chess piece could be scoured, it could be magic, it could be rare, it could be unique, all of those items will always drop as scoured items with the exception of items that drop as part of a monster conversion. So for instance if you have minus 100% player rarity on your character, and then you get one of the con quite common conversions that corrupts every item that drops, you can get a magic item that drops with a vial implicit on it. If you get a currency conversion, then instead of getting very mundane currency items, you get things like an Orb of Regret that appears to normally be something that would be replacing a rare item. So that's a correction to the previous video. Venice Gamble's increased item rarity stat will not make your loot conversions any better than they otherwise would have been. Venice Gamble's increased item quantity stat will make them better, and also Venter's Gamble's increased item rarity stat will make it, for example, more likely that a mage blood drops for you from a normal monster, although that's still very unlikely, but it will not assist you in getting more and better scarabs. And for what it's worth, it appears from, again, looking at some of the historical information that's been found by data miners, that these changes were made between Calandra League and Sanctum League. Anyways, that's all i got for today. May your Volobs have interesting results, and may you have the 2024 you deserve.